Hello, my name is Peter Marcus, and this is a video to show how I use the Mail Merge function in Microsoft Word and Excel to create seating charts for my orchestra. The first thing you would need to do is figure out how to do a Mail Merge using Microsoft products, and you can find several resources online. Once you know how to do that, I come first to Excel and I create my roster. Now, in my first column, I have all of my instruments. This might be trombone one or uh, clarinet one. Now, if it is a section that has various seats within it, I like to use Roman numerals. For example, violin, Roman numeral two, this would be second violins, and then their chair number, chair number three. And we'll see why that's important later. So here I have that entire ensemble all the way down to the basses for a string ensemble. And these are the players for each of those. If I wanted to change their chair order easily, maybe this is fourth chair and then second chair and then first chair and third chair. I have now updated those and I'm not going to highlight their instrument. I'm just going to highlight their name and then I will do a quick data sort, smallest to largest, and now I've reordered those students. The next step, you can see I'm on the fourth row because I need the space above it. I'm going to copy this roster, that's Command or Control C, and I'm gonna paste it in the very first cell. Now this is special, I'm going to right click, and now I have choices paste, which is not my choice. I'm going to paste special. Once I paste special, you can see the choice to transpose. And you'll see what that does. It takes a vertical column and turns it into a horizontal row. And now each one of these cells in the first row is the same as a merge field we would have seen for our envelopes or letters, address, city, state, zip code, etc. I'm finished with Excel. I'm going to save this to my desktop is an easy place to find it. I've called it roster, but just save it somewhere where you can find it. I'm going to hop over to Microsoft Word. I've opened up a blank document. I set my margins to be narrow and I also set it to landscape because our ensembles tend to be wide. I already put a podium in here earlier and the first thing we need to do is create our seats. So I'm going to insert text boxes. And these little text boxes, we can just put one in there and then I'll show you about the size that I found is best. The best height is 0.43 inches and a good width that fits all of our students' names is 0.75. Of course, you'll have exceptions to that. And here we have a seat. I'll go ahead and put this over here where our first violin would be. We're not quite finished though. Because we're going to use this as a template for all the other seats, I want to make sure it's really correct. For me, I've found it useful to have a narrow font. Arial narrow is a good one. And then it can be as small as you want. 10 seems to be a good size. And finally, I like it to be centered, but that's just a preference. Now I have a seat complete. I need a lot of these, don't I? I'm going to copy this, Command or Control C, and then click out and paste it. Command or Control V, and there is another seat. I'm going to do this over and over and over because I have a big orchestra, don't I? Now, as many as you need, you can paste them, and then you drag them where they would be seated. This would be that violin one, chair two. You can see I've put them kind of close together and that lets these performers know that they'll share a stand. The only caution here is that that might be confusing to a non-string player. They might think that those students need to be really close together and we know in fact that string players need space. So just keep that in mind. And here would be my cellos if this is how you have your string orchestra set up. And there I have the first row of strings. Pretty handy. Now I am ready to start my merging. Now if you watched one of the tutorials, I go to Mailings, Start Mail Merge Letters, which is what I've already created. I've already created a letter. Now I need to select my recipients. And this is that list that already exists, our roster. 
Use existing list from my desktop is where I saved it. Roster open. And here is the sheet we need. You might have several sheets in Excel for your various ensembles, string orchestra, wind ensemble. So you pick the one you need. And nothing happened, but now I am linked to that roster. Now I'm gonna start putting those players into their spot. I'm gonna click on that text box until I have a cursor so that I could insert text if I wanted to. And I'm going to insert a merge field. Now remember, this is violin one, chair one. And we can see now why I chose Roman numerals. Had I not, this would look like violin 11. And there, I clicked on them and they are inserted in that box. This next box, I get a cursor and I insert violin one, chair two. Does this take a while? It certainly does, but once you have it set up, this is my cello one, the document will be set up forever and you can quickly change your seating charts for your students and you can also quickly generate a seating chart for somebody who's going to set up your ensemble. I could keep going with the rest of the orchestra. If I want to check that I have not skipped anyone's name or that all the formatting looks okay, I can click on preview results. And finally, I'm ready to merge. Now, if I print, it will print a lot of pages. I always like to edit individual documents. And you can see we have a lot of pages. We only need our first page. And then we can print only page one. That's it for how to merge into a seating chart. A few other details that can make this helpful to your setup crew. I like to take a text box right down here and do chairs per row. So for example, my third row might have 22 chairs, my second row might have 18 chairs, and my first row might have eight chairs. And then I just list it, chairs per row. That can make it easy for other players. If I wanted to with another text box, Maybe I have a substitute teacher or a guest working with the group so I can tell them who this is. String orchestra, fourth period, 11, 15 to 12, 10. And from the students, if they want to know, is this the most recent seating chart updated December 12th, 2010? So just some things that might be helpful to your students and performers. I hope this helped. Please send me any questions and you can find more resources on my website at www.petermarcus.com. Thanks for listening, friends.